Psalm 23 is one of the most beloved psalms, known for its comforting portrayal of God as a shepherd. The psalmist David confidently declares that even in the presence of danger, he is not afraid because the Lord is his shepherd. Psalm 23 verse 1 and 4 say, Even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fear no evil, for his rod and staff are your comfort. Prayer is a powerful tool in the life of a believer, acting as a direct line of communication with God. Through prayer, we can seek His divine protection, guidance, and strength against the forces of evil that surround us. The Psalms, a collection of prayers, hymns, and poems are filled with expressions of trust in God's protection. In these ancient words, we find powerful declaration that resonates even in our contemporary struggles. As we delve into the scriptures, I declare over you that these prayers will fortify your spirit and provide divine protection against all forms of evil. Do well to subscribe for more prayers tailored just for you on this channel. Let's pray. I declare over you the assurance that the Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. The Lord will lead you beside still waters, restoring your soul and guiding you in paths of righteousness. In Jesus' name, he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies, anointing your head with oil and your cup will overflow. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This psalm serves as a powerful declaration that God's presence is with you in every situation, providing protection and comfort. Psalm 27 expresses unwavering confidence in God's protection, even in the face of fear and danger. David proclaims his trust in the Lord as his light and salvation. I declare over you that the Lord is your light and your salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the stronghold of your life. Of whom shall you be afraid? Though an army besiege you, your heart will not fear. Though war break out against you, even then you will be confident. This psalm is a powerful declaration that no matter what forces come against you, God is your stronghold. In the day of trouble, he will keep you safe in his dwelling. He will hide you in the shelter of his sacred tent and set you high upon a rock. Psalm 27 verse 5, in Jesus' name. I declare over you that you dwell in the shelter of the Most High and you will rest in the shadow of the Almighty as a protection against every evil in your life in Jesus' name. Say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foulest day and from the deadly pestilence. His faithfulness shall be your shield and rampart. You shall not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that soaks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. The protection of God is portrayed as a fortress a refuge where no evil can reach you. The promise that no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent, is a declaration of God's omnipotent protection. Psalm 121 is a song of ascent, reflecting the psalmist's trust in God's constant care and protection. I declare over you that your help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Psalm 121 verses 2 to 4. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life in Jesus' name. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore in Jesus' name. The assurance in this psalm is clear. God's watchful eye is ever upon you, protecting you from all harm day and night. The Lord's constant vigilance is a source of peace and security, knowing that he guards every step you take. Psalm 34 is a psalm of David, written after he was delivered from a life-threatening situation. It is a song of praise for God's deliverance and protection. I declare over you that you will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in your mouth. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. That's Psalm 34 verses 1 and 4. 
the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. This psalm reminds us that God's protection is not passive. He actively delivers us from danger seen and unseen. As you trust in him, I declare over you that you will taste and see the Lord is good and you will be blessed as you take refuge in him. In Jesus name. Psalm 46 is a powerful reminder of God's presence and help in times of trouble. It reassures believers of God's steadfast protection amidst chaos and calamity. It reassures believers of God's steadfast protection amidst chaos and calamity. I declare over you that God is your refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore you will not fear, though the earth may give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. That's Psalm 46 verses 1 to 2. The Lord Almighty is with you. The God of Jacob is your fortress in Jesus' name. This psalm is a declaration of God's unshakable presence. No matter what turmoil surrounds you, I declare that God is your fortress and you shall not be moved. Be still and know that he is God and he will be exalted amongst the nations in your life in Jesus' name. Psalm 140 is a plea for protection against the wicked. Those who seek to harm through deceit or violence, it is a cry for God to intervene and protect his people. I declare over you that the Lord will deliver you from evil men and preserve you from violent men who plant evil things in their hearts. I declare that the Lord will keep you from the hands of the wicked. He will protect you from those who plan to trip your feet in Jesus' name. This psalm serves as a reminder that when faced with opposition, deceit or malice, you can call upon the Lord for protection. I declare over you that God will surround you with his protection, shielding you from every evil plan against you. Psalm 31 is a psalm of trust and deliverance. David calls upon the Lord for rescue and takes refuge in him, trusting that God is his rock and fortress. I declare over you that in God you take refuge. Let him never be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. In his righteousness he will deliver you. I declare that the Lord will incline his ears to you. He will rescue you speedily. Be to you a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save you. Psalm 31 verses 1 to 2 in Jesus' name. The psalm emphasizes that God is not only a refuge but also a deliverer. I declare over you that in the midst of your distress, God's steadfast love will lead and guide you, delivering you from the traps set by your enemies. That's Psalm 31 verses 3 to 4 in Jesus' name. Psalm 3 is a morning prayer of David when he fled from his son Absalom, despite being surrounded by his enemies. David expresses confidence in God's protection. I declare over you that the Lord is a shield around you, your glory and the one who lifts your head high. I declare that you will not fear the tens of thousands who set themselves against you for salvation belongs to the Lord. In Jesus' name. This psalm assures us that no matter how numerous or powerful the opposition may be, God is a shield around you, protecting and lifting you above your circumstances. Psalm 18 is a song of thanksgiving for deliverance from enemies. <coughs> David exalts God as his rock, fortress, and deliverer. I declare over you that the Lord is your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer. Your God is your rock in whom you take refuge, your shield, and the horn of your salvation, your stronghold. That's Psalm 18 verse 2 in Jesus' name. I declare that you will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and you will be saved from your enemies. This psalm is a powerful affirmation of God's ability to deliver his people from the hands of their enemies. I declare over you that as you trust in God, he will rescue you from those who pursue you and bring you into a spacious place because he delights in you in Jesus' name. Psalm 20 is a prayer for victory in battle asking for God's protection and favor upon his anointed. I declare over you that the Lord will answer you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob will protect you against every evil in your life and your destiny. Psalm 132 verse 15 I will bless her with abundant provisions. Her poor I will satisfy with food. 
Lord, I confess my worries and my anxieties that often consume my thoughts. I am surrounded by a world filled with scarcity where fear and greed drive the hearts of many. Yet, I choose to fix my eyes on you, the God of abundance. Teach me to trust in your unfailing provision, to seek your kingdom above all else and to live with open hands, ready to receive and share your blessings. In times of scarcity and want, May I not be discouraged, but rather find hope in you. Help me to remember that you are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. You know my needs even before I utter them. And you are faithful to supply according to your perfect will. Grant me the faith to surrender my worries and my fears into your capable hands. For you are the God who provides abundantly. Psalm 64 verse 9 to 10. You gave abundant showers, O oh God. You refreshed your weary inheritance, your people settled in it. And from your bounty, O oh God, you provided for the poor. Dear Father, my prayer is not solely for my own provision. I intercede on behalf of those who are in need, who are hungry, homeless, and lacking the basic necessities of life. Let your provision be put out upon them. O oh Lord, as you touch my heart to be instruments of your love and compassion, grant me the wisdom to share my blessings with those in need, knowing that I am blessed to be a blessing. Psalm 111 verse 5. He has given food to those who fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. Grant me, O Lord, the wisdom to steward the blessings you bestow upon me. Let me use them not just for my own comfort, but also for the betterment of others. Help me to be a channel of your provision, extending a helping hand to those who are in need. As you bless me abundantly, make me a blessing to those around me. Teach me, O Lord, to be content in every circumstance whether in times of abundance or scarcity help me to trust in your perfect plan may i not be attached to material possessions or place my worth in earthly treasures instead let my heart be set on eternal things on the riches of your kingdom in your abundance grant me a spirit of gratitude always mindful of your goodness as i receive your provision may it not lead to a sense of entitlement or selfishness instead let it be a reminder of your grace and an invitation to share with those in need help me to be generous with my time talents and resources just as you have been generous with me psalm 147 verses 8 to 9 and 11 he covers the skies with clouds he supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills he provides food for the cattle and the young ravens when they call i surrender my worries and anxieties to you i cast aside the burdens of lack and insufficiency knowing that you are the god who meets all our needs in your presence I find peace and assurance for you are the God who provides abundantly. I trust in your protection knowing that I am safe under your watchful eye. I thank you for your abundant blessings and overflowing goodness as it is written in Psalm 23 verse 5 to 6. I picture the table you set before me, a feast in the midst of challenges. Anoint my head with your favor and let my cup overflow with abundant blessings amidst difficulties. May I trust in your provision, confident that my cup will overflow with your goodness. With gratitude in my heart, precious Father, acknowledging you as shepherd over my family, just as it says in Psalm 23, I entrust my family into your loving care and seek your divine protection over us for leading us beside still waters and restoring our souls. I thank you. I declare Psalm 23 verse 4 over my family, even though they walk through the valley of the shadow of death, they will fear no evil for you are with them. Your rod and your staff, they comfort them. I trust in your protection knowing that you are with them in every situation. I claim the promise of Psalm 23 verses 5 to 6 over them. You prepare a table before them in the presence of their enemies. You anoint their heads with oil, their cups run over surely your goodness and mercy shall follow them all the days of their lives and they will dwell in your house forever i believe in your abundant blessing and overflowing goodness over our family
Lord, I pray that you shield them from harm and surround them with your angels, guarding them in all their ways. I trust in your provision and guidance for each family member. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, I acknowledge your promise in Psalm 23. I trust in your provision, for you make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters. Lord, I ask for your healing touch to restore my health just as you restore my soul i declare that even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for you are with me your road and your staff they comfort me i find solace in your presence knowing that you are my guide and shield in times of illness i trust in your goodness and mercy which follow me all the days of my life i believe in your promise to prepare prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies anointing my head with oil and cursing my cup to overflow i come before you trusting in your promise as my shepherd just like in psalm 23 i declare your word over my health believing that you lead me beside still waters and restore my soul in your presence dear lord i declare that my marriage is under your divine protection I trust in your guidance, Lord, to lead my marriage in the paths of righteousness. I rely on your provision, knowing that my cup overflows with your blessings. I rest in the assurance of your goodness and mercy, believing that they will accompany my marriage journey, protecting us from harm and strengthening our bond. Heavenly Father, in the confidence of your grace, acknowledging you as my shepherd i pray for the protection of my friends and family as individuals under your loving care shepherd them dear lord in every aspect of our lives leading us into the fullness of your provision in the face of life's trials where fear threatens to overwhelm during difficult times i seek refuge for them and the enduring embrace of your presence as symbols of guidance and protection let your rod bring comfort to their hearts with your company fear releases its grief then and they traverse through the challenging moments with steadfast courage mighty father you are my shepherd and i acknowledge your guidance and provision in my business and career just as you lead your shepherd to green pastures in quiet waters i trust you to lead me to prosperous opportunities and moments of peace in my work and business i declare that you restore my soul and lead me in paths of righteousness for your name's sake i trust in your divine guidance knowing that you direct my steps and help me to make wise decisions in my business and endeavors even though I may face challenges and uncertainties, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me and protect me, shielding me from harm and leading me away from pitfalls. I am reassured by your presence, and I know that you are my ultimate source of security. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. I am confident in your abundant blessings and favor upon my business and care. Career. Oh, mighty God, in the shadowy valleys of life where fear may attempt to take root, your abiding presence is my stronghold. Your rod and staff, symbols of protection and guidance, bringing comfort to my troubled heart. With you by my side, fear loses its grip and I walk undaunted. In the face of adversity, you lavish me with abundance. A table prepared by your hand, anointing oil on my head, symbols of your favor and overflowing blessings amidst challenges i trust in your provision confident that my cup overflows with your goodness the assurance of your goodness and mercy as steadfast companions fills my heart with gratitude as i journey through the tapestry of time May these faithful companions be my constant realities and in the end, may I dwell in the eternal embrace of your house. I thank you for your unwavering love and protection. I declare over your life the promises of Psalm 37 that evildoers shall be cut off but those who hope in the lord shall inherit the land i command every enemy that comes against you to stumble and fall expire and be no more just as david prayed boldly in psalm 57 asking the almighty to break the teeth of liars and silence the tongue 
that speaks proud against you. I call forth the armies of heaven to guard you and protect you. To lift you up and shield you completely under their wings. I decree that no snare will capture you. No sudden alarm will shake you. Says the Lord in Proverbs 3 verses 25 to 26. For he who keeps you will not slumber. He who protects you will not sleep. I command every evil net and every negative word. Cause sent to entangle your destiny to be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit now in Jesus name. Just as the snares of the wicked could not prevail against blameless David, whose shield was the Lord God Most High, I declare that no eating trap or malicious scheme will prosper against you in Jesus' name. For who can harm you when you follow what is good and do the Lord's will? And everyone who exalts themselves against you will be brought low by the power in the name of Jesus. For the salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord who protects them like a shield in time of trouble. I pray that the Lord shall protect you from every evil arrows in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that God will make your righteousness shine like the dawn and your justice like the noonday. Although the wicked secretly shoot their arrows against the blameless to slay them in the darkness, their bows will all be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every lying and devouring tongue targeting you to dry up from the roots and wither away. Just as Goliath's threats could not prevail against young David who came in the name of the Lord God Almighty, I silence and cut off every voice that taunts and intimidates you by demonic threats or false accusations. I decree open disgrace and divine judgment upon all who magnify themselves against you and seek your ruin. I command every proud wave striking against you every contrary wind and stormy blast opposing your destiny to be rebuked and laid to rest by the great I am just as Jesus said peace be still causing the winds and waves to obey his voice I declare that all clamoring voices in the realm of the spirit resisting and raging against you shall bow in submission to the commands of the most high God for greater is he that is in you than anything in the world trying to destroy you I speak over that henceforth, Psalm 118 walks for you as you remain surrounded and fortified on all sides, that you may boldly declare, the Lord is for me, I will not fear. What can man do to me? I command all intimidating spirits, trying to elicit fear and anxiety to tremble and flee away from you now in Jesus' mighty name. As David overcame the lion, the bear and the giant through his great faith in the God who delivers, I release boldness into your spirit and command every inner voice of fear, doubt or intimidation assaulting your mind to be silent. As David encouraged himself in the wilderness, stirred himself up in God and recovered all that was taken, I call forth a tenacious spirit of faith to rise within you. One that pursues, overtakes and recovers all. I declare the steadfast love of the Lord upon you. His mercy and favor to preserve you. Though an army encamp around you, your heart will not fear. Though war rises against you, you will be confident in God. For even stone will Walls will collapse and weapons formed against you shall fail. No schemes out in darkness shall succeed and every lying tongue condemning you will be shown to be in the wrong. Again, may the words and the spirit behind Psalm 118 fortify and protect you on all sides. Let those who come against you be put to shame, but may you never be put to shame. Let those plotting your downfall turn back in disgrace and emulation, but may you be uplifted and established upon the rock, Christ Jesus. I declare you are delivered forevermore from the snare of the fowler and deadly pestilence in accordance to Psalm 91. No plague of darkness or calamity of night shall overtake your dwelling. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder trample the young lion and serpent under your feet as david prayed in distress and anguish for god not to be far away i call for divine assistance and heavenly armies to surround and shield you now in jesus name i decree sudden angelic support and divine intervention into your affairs may god command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways as elisha prayed for his servant's eyes to be opened releasing god's greatest spiritual forces to reveal themselves 
I call forth lightning flashes of divine insight and spiritual vision to illuminate your path ahead, that you may walk wisely and avoid the snares of darkness seeking to entrap you in Jesus' name. I declare that those who rise against you will fall for your sake, says the Lord in Isaiah 54 verse 15. For who dares accuse you whom the Lord has chosen? I command all tongues, speaking negative words, false testimonies or malicious lies against you to dry up immediately and receive a burning coal of conviction to speak no more deceit. As Mordecai fought the wicked schemes of her man aimed at destroying the innocent, I declare that just as a man was hung on the very gallows built for Mordecai, your enemies and accusers will receive the due rewards for their wickedness, while you shall be uplifted and established on higher ground. For the one who digs a pit will himself fall into, and like Goliath, the one who comes to accuse and terrify you will himself be struck down by the very schemes and weapons aimed at you. As Jezebel's vile threats against Elijah were overturned and in his stead she was seized and trampled underfoot by divine judgment, I decree the same immediate intervention and vindication for you against every corrupt source seeking your downfall. Like a man, may all who pursue bloodshed against your innocent life be precisely targeted by divine justice and recompense. For the Lord loves justice and will not abandon his faithful ones. I release a prophetic decree over your life from the heavenly courts and seal it permanently by the blood of Jesus Christ and the mighty work of the cross. What God has spoken and proposed for your good cannot be reversed or overturned in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 118 stands as a divine shield and canopy of favor for all your coming and going out, surrounding you on all sides with grace and deliverance from all calamity and snares of darkness. May those who pursue and persecute you be ashamed and disgraced, but may you stand radiant with God's joy and vindication. Let deceivers and accusers bear their own shame while God's righteousness illuminates your life without apology. The Lord himself has become your salvation and sure defense. No one who condemns or contends with you shall prevail. For God is with you to deliver you, says the Lord. I seal this prayer over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all God's angels heed this divine commission and surround you as a wall of fire and shield of faith on all sides. Greater is he who is in you than anything in all creation that strives against you. May the Lord bless and protect you always. He will send back every evil arrows aimed to kill you or your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you are not just a good father, but also a great shepherd. And as a great shepherd leads his sheep to peaceful pastures and quiet waters, so will you do to my spirit every time I want to lay down. In you I know that I will find rest, and my spirit will be renewed even as I close my eyes to sleep. Nothing shall take away my sleep and peace of mind. I am safe and secure in your arms. According to the word of Psalm 121 verses 3 to 4, he will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Lord, in the darkest hours of the night, when I am most vulnerable and weak, I am assured that you are always watching over me, staying vigilant so that no harm will come to me. I thank you because you neither slumber nor sleep just to keep me safe. Your word shall never break, neither will you alter that which has proceeded from your mouth concerning me. According to the word of Psalm 91 verses 1 to 2, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his feathers you will find a refuge. His faithfulness shall be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. Like a protective parent, like a mother hen protecting her chicks, you cover me under your feathers, shielding us from all attacks of the enemy and the terrors of the night. I don't have to be afraid because I am perpetually dwelling in your shadow. 
According to the word of Psalm 3 verses 5 to 6, I lie down and sleep and I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear though ten thousands assail me on every side. I certainly will not be afraid of tens of thousands of people who gang up against me when I am asleep at night because you, my Father, sustain me with your mighty hands. According to the word of Psalm 16 verses 7 to 8, I will praise the Lord who counsels me even at night. My heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord with him at my right hand. I will not be shaken. I will keep my eyes on you always because with you at my right hand, I will not be shaken even when I am asleep. Your counsel will remain with me. According to the word of Psalm 139 verses 11 and 12, if I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day for darkness is as light to you. Lord, this psalm fills me with the hope and assurance that there's nothing that happens in the dark that you don't know about. So even when the enemy tries to hide in the dark to harm me at night, you see it and you will rescue me. According to the word of Psalm 127 verse 2, In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat as a grand sleep to those who he loves. Lord, toiling and hard work can sometimes hinder me from sleeping, but you have made it clear that those you love, you will certainly grant sleep because I know you love me. Psalm 46 verse 10, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted amongst the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. You have told me to be still and know that you are God. I release my burdens and anxieties to you. Please be exalted above all these and lead me to a peaceful sleep. Psalm 121 verses 5 to 8, The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Lord, you have promised to be my shade at my right hand. And I know that both during the day and at night, you are always watching over me. I don't have to be afraid of whatever has been programmed to the moon and to the sun to harm me. Psalm 91 verses 14 to 16. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord, I call on you. Please deliver and satisfy my weary soul. Please protect me even as I lay down to sleep. And every time I call upon you, whether during the day or late at night, Lord, please answer me. According to the word of Psalm 62 verses 1 to 2, 5 to 8, truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my my refuge. Trust in him at all times. You people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Lord, with you by my side, I know I will find rest for my soul as I close my eyes. Help me to trust in you that you will see me through the night and I will wake up refreshed and restored. All these I have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. No weapon prevails as you abide in the secret place of God's presence and love. I declare the Lord is your light, salvation, and stronghold according to Psalm 27 verse 1. Jesus already purchased victory for you through Calvary's finished works. His death unleashes resurrection life and power with it. Fear no darkness, because greater is He in you than He that controls the world. Abide in Christ and wield heaven's weapons, mighty to pull down enemy strongholds. You are victorious through intimacy and surrender. I decree angelic shields and barriers secure around you night and day according to Psalm 34 verse 7 and chapter 91 verses 11 to 12. May these war angels prevent all satanic attacks. 
interferences and retaliation according to verse 14 to 16 of Psalm 91. You shall thread upon the lion and adder. All secret plans of the enemy are destroyed. The Holy Spirit leads you far from the schemes of evil, so no harm can befall you. Strong tower protects God's beloved. I command all satanic spirits guarded for assignments of chaos, destruction, accusation, affliction, deception, and death to be bound now, silenced, and rendered impotent under Christ's authority. According to Revelation 12 verses 10 to 11, the Lord will strip dark spirits of weapons, armor, devices, and scrolls prepared against his people. He will escort them to show locked in chains now in the mighty name of Jesus. I call forth divine alertness, discernment, and perception to recognize diabolical setups and weaponized words intended to ensnare your identity and calling according to Psalms 62 verses 2 to 4 and 8. Ask God for insight into people orchestrating attacks through cursing, jealousy, and hidden retaliation. Receive wisdom and strategy to terminate schemes at inception so they boomerang against the kingdom of darkness, increasing the influence of God through your life. Beloved saint, you are already clothed in Christ's righteousness as eternal security according to Isaiah 61 verse 10. No false accusation or character assassination prevails when you walk blameless and upright fearing God. Take heart if maligned for his name's sake. All snakes and scorpions turn impotent against true disciples of Jesus according to Luke 10 verse 19. His suffixes are engrafted in you. Righteousness and justice flow through your veins. You represent him now and forever. I decree supernatural reversal manifest against every satanic ambush and conspiracy set to hinder God's anointed according to Isaiah 54 verses 15 and 17. I pray that all sorcery backfires converting curses into blessing according to Genesis 12 verse 3 and Numbers 23 verse 23. Receive heavenly strategies, releasing recompense, vindication, restoration, and sevenfold justice against all adversary attacks. Divine turnaround belongs to you, beloved. Stand confident and assured victory comes. Through intimacy and surrender, we access resurrection power that renders enemies defenseless. Drink deep of the infallible spirit of counsel and might. Rise up in ferocious faith, tearing down strongholds and high things, exalting themselves against the true knowledge of God. You shall do valiantly through Christ who strengthens you. I call forth warrior angels to ensure full execution of these prayer decrees now according to Psalm 103 verse 20. And I compel adversary spirits bound for show to obey in Jesus' name. I pray that Abba Father will surround you with angel armies enforcing protection as decreed under divine counsel in heaven. May all counter-attacks, assignments, and weapons dissolve immediately against those hidden in Christ. The Lord will defend and shield you according to the word in Jesus' name. Your authority in prayer avails much through humility and surrender to Christ within you according to James 5 verse 16. Never underestimate the power in binding and losing all weapons of declaration wielded in partnership with the spirit of might. He responds with reinforcement as we cry out to him who is mighty to save. Be strong and courageous. Only stand still and see his victory. I decree a mighty wall of angelic protection fortified around you now so no satanic assault penetrates according to Zechariah 2 verse 5. I pray Yahweh encamps legends as fiery wall and shield against enemy attack or retaliation. He will give his angels charge over all that pertains to you. Trust him to guard your life, family, reputation, health, finance, relationships, ministry, endeavors and emotional stability. 
in far greater measure than earthly military could provide may fierce intimidation and accusations dissolve under weight of unfailing love that casts out all torment grace triumph over judgments for all eden in the most high hallelujah i command spirits of worthlessness rejection depression anger deception suicidal thoughts sickness confusion and oppression to lose god's beloved now in jesus name receive healing streams pouring life and boldness into weary souls according to ezekiel 47 verses 1 to 12 break all agreements made with death and false shelter offered through substance abuse ungodly soul ties sexual sin or escapism receive new wine skins to contain the new wine holy spirit pours set up stones of remembrance declaring your deliverance this day never to be imprisoned by former mindsets again recon yourselves dead to seed and alive to God in Jesus name arise and go free in the power and authority Christ purchased I call forth vindication upon all adversaries who plot and scheme believing their counsel hidden according to Micah 2 verse 1, Psalm 83 verse 3 and Isaiah 29 verse 15. Reveal the hearts of those cursed, conjuring deception or seeking to entrap your child. May their attacks and hatred turn to favor instead, according to Genesis 50 verse 20. I release those operating under mind control now from ungodly soul ties and generational strongholds in Jesus' name. Receive through healing, deliverance, and restoration. I break deception's veil with kindness, truth, Calvary's true freedom not yet understood in Jesus' powerful name. Though darkness confronts, lift up your gaze higher, beloved. God meets those who endure the crucible of refinement and wait expectantly upon Him. He remains a sovereign, discerner of hearts and just judge over all intentions and motives in both earthly and heavenly realms. No accusation prospers before your Father and Redeemer as you abide patiently under His mighty hand, allowing access to grace, enabling you to stand in goodness and integrity. He will defend and vindicate you in perfect time. No one can stop his destined will for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. You are already victorious and more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I decree divine intervention to descend and unlock victory against long-standing generational causes of cancer, sickness, incest, early death, addiction, barrenness, poverty, and lack in Jesus' name. I command DNA restored to wholeness through generational lines. Receive fresh fire flowing in your bloodline, awakening and restoring all crooked places from iniquity of forefathers. May your children, grandchildren and extended family receive breakthroughs extending for generations to come. Freedom's fire will be released now according to Galatians 5 verse 1. Inherit blessing prepared for you. I command all legal rights, footholds and access gained through seeing or obedience that keep enemy accusation and attack empowered to now close forever be erased by the blood of jesus receive deep deliverance from defilement deception and corruption according to colossians 1 verse 13 i call forth mighty breakthrough and eternal reward upon your years of unnamed toil and suffering according to psalm 1 to 6 and galatians 6 verse 9 and hebrews 12 1 to 3 May generational oppression, lack, sickness, and fruitlessness now dissolve suddenly under an open heaven. Receive acceleration, restoration, and recompense, meeting you at every turn. Whereas you have been forgotten, forsaken, and devalued in your past seasons, now royalty and honor mark your every step through double portion inheritance and overcoming anointing activated this day. Your progress unlocks destinies for multitudes. Emmanuel, God is indeed with you, friend. No longer will you cower under threats of enemy or wince at words of past aggressors. Fear is demolished from your bloodline as lion-hearted courage in Christ fuels your every step. 
with integrity, purpose, and passion arise to call forth life from death and freedom to captive ones still bound. Take your place as kingdom ambassador seated firmly in Christ's authority and worth. We worship and exalt you, Lord, for answering all these prayers in Jesus' name. Therefore, I declare the Lord's verdicts over you according to Psalm 31 that says, Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Today, divine health and wholeness permeates into every cell of your body in the name of Jesus. I command your bones, tissues, organs, and systems to come into alignment with God's original design for you. Receive the Creator's torch over your frame. He formed you wonderfully and knows how to realign anything I miss. I call forth the revival of life to flow through you from head to toe right now. Where there was weakness, catastrophe, or deterioration, I declare newness of life by the Holy Spirit. He makes all things new, so I say, cells regenerate, inflammation subsides, nerves reconnect, and fibers mend under heaven's healing rays. Be made whole. I declare by faith that you are already healed by the stripes Jesus took upon his back according to 1 Peter 2 verse 24. That includes every emotional, spiritual and physical wound you carry. Christ bore your sickness so you can bear his healing. I call for the manifestation into the nature of what he finished at the cross. Health and wholeness permit you now from crown to soul. I decree the words of Psalm 103 over your life, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. Every condition stemming from generational curses, personal sin and trauma is cleansed by the blood of Jesus. I declare your body healed and delivered. I command all infections and infirmities to leave your body now in Jesus' name. Receive supernatural antibiotics attacking every virus and harmful bacteria according to Luke 13 verse 12. Crippled hands are released restored vision and hearing. Every missing limb will be replaced as you continue to seek the Lord in faith. I call forth divine restoration of rubbed health and lost years. What the enemy meant to destroy through affliction will become testament of God's goodness. The Lord balances every scale tilting favor and blessing your way. As with Job, he will bless your latter days even more than your former. Receive abundantly above all that you can ask or imagine. I declare that through faith and patience, you will inherit every promise of God. Do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. Persevere in prayer and stand on his word. Though healing takes time, his spirit brings comfort, hope and strength for the journey. It will bring it to pass right on schedule. I decree divine connections leading you to people to bring breakthroughs, whether supernatural healing or practical help through medicine and physicians. Receive it. Let no pride or false doctrine block what God wants to do. His methods are infinite. His healing often gradual. Hold fast to his hand through the process. Wellness awaits. I command all genetic weaknesses that empower sickness to bow to the name of Jesus, reversed by his healing blood. Jesus bore our sicknesses and carried our pains so we can walk in divine health and wholeness. By his stripes you will be made whole. Spirit, soul, and body, I call forth inner healing and deliverance from trauma, abuse, loss, and grief that opened us to sickness. Holy Spirit, Take us back to access painful memories this child of God carries. Calm as the comforter, bringing perspective and cleansing. Exchange pain for joy, mourning for gladness. Beloved, see the Lord's goodness in your affliction. He promised to use all things to work together for our good as we submit to his working. What the enemy meant for harm, God turns to holiness as we yield trials to him. Our light afflictions now achieve eternal glory. This test will give tremendous testimony up ahead. Through this sickness and suffering, God develops perseverance, character and hope in you. You will shine as an overcomer, displaying his victory and faithfulness. The trials of many will be comforted through your journey. His strength is shown perfect through human weakness and need. 
ask him for grace to rejoice in this divine process. I declare that nothing separates you from the love of Christ, not even pain and infirmity. According to Romans 8 verses 35 to 39, if he ordains for this thorn to remain, take heart, his power rests upon you. His strength is made perfect in weakness. Ask him for sufficient grace to carry out the cross and sufficient faith to believe still for healing. He is worthy of praise in it all. I decree that those who sow in tears will reap with shouts of joy. Though healing tarries, take heart, dear one. God collects every tear, filling his bottle of remembrance. None fall fruitless to the ground. He will turn weeping into gladness, sickness to health. On that day, none will be able to curse, for he makes all things new. I command every negative word, curse, lie or accusation sent your way to dissolve under the power of God's word and the healing blood of Jesus. Let no word of death take root in your body. Cast down thoughts that exalt themselves above the knowledge of Christ. Stand on his finished walk at the cross with patience and confidence, knowing that it will bring it to pass. I call forth a new habitation place for his spirit to dwell. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead comes to fortify your body as a temple of the living God. What was damaged or defiled is fully restored. Receive strength beyond your own to walk out this healing daily through his enabling grace. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. Beloved child of God, behold the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Set your gaze upon the one who heals. The spirit within brings life to your mortal body as a down payment of future glory. Allow his resurrection power to flow freely to every place needing restoration. You shall live and not die. Wellness is here. I declare that you are no longer under the curse of the law, but redeemed to receive Abraham's blessings. Christ has redeemed you from sickness, poverty, spiritual death, and the curse of sin that plagues this fallen world. Receive everlasting life and wholeness in the eternally secured inheritance of God's children. I decree deliverance from spirits of infirmity that empower sickness and disease according to Luke 13 verse 12. Receive freedom in mind and body now from all effects of trauma, substance abuse, and chronic conditions keeping you weighed down this many years. What Holy Spirit is reviving cannot be bound up again. I command all negative soul ties, feeding darkness to be severed now by the sword of the Spirit. Receive deep spiritual cleansing as the Holy Ghost fire burns through roots of iniquity passed down generationally. The sins, trauma, and twisted covenants of the fathers and mothers dissolve under the blood of Jesus. You are free. I call forth spiritual biomarkers revealing the root causes of symptoms and conditions plaguing you. Holy Spirit, Unveil hidden sources feeding this affliction, whether trauma, generational curses, environmental toxins, or lifestyle choices keeping darkness empowered. Grant wisdom and strategies for walking in the grants with Grant wisdom and strategies for walking in divine health. I declare that death and sickness have lost their sting since Christ conquered sin and the grave. Though this body may waste away, you have an eternal house prepared by God, not built by human hands. His resurrection life lifts you beyond mortal constraints of deterioration, sickness, and aging. I decree that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength as eagles. As you wait on Him for healing and breakthrough, equip yourself through studying the healing covenants and promises of God. Read testimonies of saints who persevered by faith and prayer to receive. Ask for fresh fire to stand through every hardship along the way. I command all lingering generational illnesses stemming from familiar spirits to be severed at the root now by God's healing word. Causes of cancer, disorders, heart diseases, and early death be reversed and lifted by the blood of Jesus Christ. Step into generational blessings of longevity and divine health prepared for you. I call forth hunger in you for Christ, the true bread of life. As you feed deeply on his living word, revelation and intimacy grows with God. Receive fresh perspective, shifting focus from symptoms and limitations onto the healer himself. He sanctifies every struggle using trials to unveil more of his glorious nature. Rest in his abiding presence filling you now. 
Beloved, though flesh and heart fail, God remains the strength of your heart eternally. When faith or patience runs low, cry out to him for fresh oil to persevere. Worship the healer even from this pit. Allow his spirit to come forth and carry hope, restoring joy and vision bit by bit. He walks divinely through each season. When you yield all to him, I declare that those who honor God, they will honor. Humble yourself under his mighty hand and in due time, he will exalt you with wholeness, healing and a new life. Take on the heart of a servant, leaning to love, compassion and kindness for others while standing for your healing. This brings breakthrough upon breakthrough. I decree that you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord as Psalm 118 verse 17 declares. Even if he ordains more waiting, know that God holds your life secure in his hands. He remains intimately close as your soul's high tower. Let him hold your heart gently as you wait patiently on this perfect will. I command all delays, setbacks and hindrances against healing to be removed now in Jesus' mighty name. Whether spirits of affliction, lack of resources or revelation, I declare the way clear for divine turnaround. As you take steps forward, Lord, meet this child of God with demonstration of your power according to your word. Breakthrough is here now. I call forth lasting freedom from addiction and perversion, opening the door to recurring affliction. Receive merciful release from self-medication, ungodly relational bonds and practices defiling the temple of God's spirit. Trade shame and secrecy for healing as Christ's light permits hidden places of pain. Go and see no more, says the healer who makes all things new. I join you in praise to God, child of God. Rejoice, you are made completely whole. Receive strength in your bones and joy unspeakable shining through each day. Victory, health and favor surround you. Worship the Lord with all that is within you for he has delivered you from the pit and crowned you with loving kindness. Surely his goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. You are healed forevermore. Amen.